Uh, hello folks, uh, in Minecraft here we have the updated International Space Station map. So just so far we are using uh, an astronaut resource pack, or technically texture pack, and it's uh, blue. And here we are. <laughs> As all realistic noise and humming effect. This so far we're inside the Destiny lab. So you can tell I'm not using the keyboard to jump up and down. This is like uh, using the levitation command, using command blocks. We get to that redstone part later. So you can tell the villagers are wearing astronaut flight suits. Uh, well, of course I haven't actually renamed all the features yet. But it was our uh, going to node two. These are the crew quarters. Yeah, something happens to the command block. And uh, there we go. So you just get in here. There we go. We set up one of the crew quarters. Obviously there, you can put them on the roof as well, and there's some on the floor. This is node, node 2, is we have the blue desk here, and some devices. That leads to the space shuttle, the space shuttle is down there. And this is into the gem, Japanese experiment module. So we have the hatches, all the villagers here, the Melfus laboratory, the freezer, which is the minus 80 degrees freezer for the ISS. We've got NASA up there. And we've got these micrometeorite shields, so we'll just open them so we can see outside. So, so we can get close, just hit that command block. Oops, <coughs> going up into the multi-purpose logistics module. Then there's that side, you see the gem arm, the external uh, mobile platform. And you can see over there, those are the command blocks. We'll take a look at that in a sec. So just shut the micrometeorite shields. And that obviously puts some lights. And to get see how the gravity effect works, you just throw this bucket and look, it's floating. And there's a sword there. <laughs> look at that. That's so cool. Villager. That happens to anything. So if I just go to number five, put it in first first person mode. <laughs> this happens everywhere. <laughs> Using the no gravity tag. You can find those in the commands in the description below. So far, we're in the gem, Japanese experiment module. So just, uh, let's go up and get these items. It's not easy to get them after they're floating up. Especially if the, the commands for the player are not that good. Well, the villagers, it's constant. So here we are, in back in node 2, to Columbus, which is the European laboratory. We have some more devices. This is where Chris Hadfield blew up the fire extinguisher. And I got these lights which you can turn on and on. To say this is using uh, uh, solar power, solar energy, along with the other facilities. We do experiments up here as well, over the crew quarters. And uh, going across the Destiny Lab. The rehydration station is up here. So uh, it doesn't up and down in space. And this is node one. So if we're going to the airlock. Uh, so airlock over there. These are the spacesuits. Uh, we've got the airlock here. That's the primary door. <laughs> it opens like that. <laughs> Villager. Uh, just get myself. Back in node one, there's the Leonardo mod module. Even though that's moved to node three. This is node three. This is where the exercise machine and toilet are located. Space toilets you use a suction hose. Connected to a bowel mesh mother, and you actually recycle the urine through a purification process. So don't worry of getting bacteria in your system. This leads down to the cupola, which is the observation module. So we'll just uh, let that naturally float down. You can tell that I'm not using I'm not using the keyboard. I'm just naturally floating down. I just set myself down here so I can get lower. Here we are in the cupola. So just turn on the light, even though you can, you can barely see out. Uh, not the perfect thing, but this is like a very accurate ISS model. So you can see there's a space shuttle attached, there's the Japanese ground module, and uh, multiple takes rays, which are very iconic features of the ISS. You can enter water gun, and you just see there's white panels over there. Those are the uh, those are the air conditioning panels, known as radiators. But water, water floods in them, and the natural corners of space helps cool the spacecraft. And this is where Chris Hadfield did his famous tortillas. Those two scales up there, speed limit, 28, 500 miles an hour. This is Chris Hadfield's up here. Chris Hadfield's desk. <laughs> this is where he did his famous tortillas video. 
and to get the food warmers. We got a pork, pork chop in there, and we got NASA. <laughs> we got some rubber. And it's just not opening. I think it's jammed. It's got a lot of food supplies. Now we're going up to the FGB functional cargo block. I know there's a bit of lag. That's the Raspberry and Sawyer's. You can check that out in a sec. We use these mycos to get through the hatch. Here we are in a functional cargo block, which is one of the oldest parts, sent up in 1998 using the proton rocket. We have another villager here. It's a nice peach color. It's very cozy in this place as well. It's the, that's the second module that leads to uh, piers and poise because at the top of it. And here we are in the service module. There's another desk here. So everything is all zero gravity as usual. <laughs> My sword is floating away. Two, quarter, two crew quarters here. Got another one inside. Uh, that's off. So you can do that. Get yourself cozy in here. And here we are in the very back of the space station. The ATV or automated transfer vehicle. We have a lot of food supplies in here. Snowballs, water bucket, bricks, <laughs> gold bullion is one of my favorite parts because I just like to throw gold bars everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so we're going everywhere right now. Villagers can't up to absorb them. Uh, they're not there for now. I'll collect it later. They'll still be floating. Let's go across here. There's no up or down in space. Those are the observation windows. Let's get the cool part. Let's go through the airlock to see outside the ISS. You can download this map from Minecraft World Map, but I need to update it, which will be done soon. Back into Node 1, and go through the airlock. But first, I need to uh, go into creative mode, uh, my spacesuit. myself up, that's good. Sealed it up, and... So here we are, in the vacuum of space. This is create the realism effect. So in the vacuum of space right now, and here we are, in the International Space Station. We're orbiting Earth roughly 28,000 kilometers per hour. There's the Japanese rent module, we have a space shuttle attached, and the photovoltaic arrays. These arrays actually uh, rotate to pitch themselves with the sun, and when they're in the Earth's shadow, they rotate into a neutral position, like in this, to prevent orbit to reduce orbital decay. That's the Z1 thrust or zenith, which contains those black parts of the control moment gyroscopes, which pitch the space station to make sure it's pointing the right way. You have the service module, and which is Zvezda and Zarya, the functional cargo block, and the other modules. That uh. O uh, oval shape module is the BEAM module, or Bipolar Experiment Activity Module, as an acronym. And they do a lot of greenhouse effects and science. And uh, there's the Columbus, and there you have it, the ISS, Minecraft. Okay, this is the command blocks area. So I remember I said we're going to do the zero gravity, how I created the effect. Here we are, we have our redstone repeating system with command blocks. And this is the levitation for the player, as well as the villagers, even though the, well, even though the player is the most obvious. Uh, we'll get to that part in a sec. This is the original one, which broke down. But the main obvious ones is, well, this is the arrow effect, which will actually help kill Pigman. So we have the item for the no gravity for items. Uh, mine cards are affected as well, with XP orbs, and falling sand. So far I'm in creative mode. So far we're going to spawn zombie Pigman. So we just get some arrows. And let's spawn some random zombie pigmen. Okay, we've got zombie pigmen as an experiment, because this is the experiment module, so yeah, it's kind of obvious. So you can see the arrows actually float. They don't do that in the real world, they're normally hard. But be careful, you can ha hit paintings or villagers. Oh no, that took that thing off. <laughs> The NASA. There's a laptop there. 
It's not easy to kill mobs in space because they haven't advanced. <laughs> Still got my space suit on. <laughs> That's still floating around. <laughs> okay, that's dead. It's, yeah, the XP orbs are floating, as you can see. And there we have it. ISS Zero Gravity in Minecraft. Download this map on microfloormap.com. Thanks for watching.